Pastor Joe here. If you have been paying attention to the Kyle Rittenhouse case, uh, the verdict just came out, um, I guess, within the last week, and it really is polarizing. And I think the case itself accentuates what we are going through uh, as a nation. So I wanted to share some comments on that. But before I do, get a copy of my free book, Bounce Back with Faith, hard copy and digital, absolutely free. I even pay for postage. Just go to my bio. It will link you to my website. And all you got to do is fill out your information and I will send it to you. Come on, you can do it. Okay, so if you have been following the Kyle Rittenhouse case, the verdict just came out um, this past week, and boy, we are polarized as a nation. If anything, this case points out or accentuates what we are going through as a nation, and it's actually not very good, especially when it comes to looking at facts. A lot of people just now are looking at the facts differently. You can always say, look at the facts, look at the facts, but we are just now looking at the facts differently. Also, this thing about being woke or everybody is a racist uh, is becoming a little too much in the sense that when the real racism exists, um, then it's hard to kind of see because there's just so much junk out there when it comes to making accusations, uh, a bunch of media narrative and whatever reason um, people are doing this. I don't know if it's because um, they're trying to bring attention to themselves when, they, when they're accusing people of others. Um, look, I'm a brown guy and uh, I think I've experienced it. Um, I just really, it just doesn't bother me. If you don't like me because of my color of my skin, I I really don't care. I just continue doing my thing. Uh, you know, God's got me. That's how I look at it. But when um, we are just um, throwing out these accusations, it's very, very tough to deal with reality or real racism. Also, here, here's the other thing, too. I want to talk a little bit about being woke. I think I'm a little woke, actually. Um, that is, I'm not sure if um, someone's thinking of behavior or uh, the way they choose relationships when it comes to racism is it really based on color uh, of you know someone's ethnicity. Sometimes I think it is uh, cultural differences, cultural background. They're uncomfortable with other culturals, uh, other cultures. I think that um, there's a, a, a elitism, especially out here in Los Angeles. People um, carry themselves in a, a certain. Um, as a certain status, whether uh, <laughs> whether they deserve uh, to be, I don't know, treated a certain way because of their income. I, I do believe that elitism has a lot to do with how people view others, and I think that's almost, I don't know, it's even more sad um, when it comes to, um, uh, I don't know, the, the racism theory. But I just think that we need to really follow the facts and be careful when we make accusations and love one another.